behind it was going to end out here somewhere. I'm saying we're out of trail. Take it easy. I know it's slick on mine too. It's just a uh, gotta learn how to ride a little different on this kind of stuff. Even if you know how to ride on this kind of stuff, all tires are wet. Yeah, but it still makes it still makes a difference. If you don't know how to ride, you would have a heck of a time out here. If you know how to ride on slick tires. know how to watch for the little slopes in the grass where it's slick or the, the limbs that are laying crossways in the trail or roots or and how to hit them. It's a big difference. Like this here, I'm just kind of staying in the rut, just keeping from sliding my front tire and just dragging the back a little bit. Ooh, that's slick right there. Slick right there where you drop off into this rut. I should have been in the rut to start with and I was out of it. That's one thing about it, if you're down in the ditch, in the rut, you can't slide off into it because you're already in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your tire's gonna stay in it. I can smell your gas from when you laid it over right here. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you get in that area right there, you can smell it. I just got to that area. I didn't know I was right there, and I just smelled gas, and I was like, what in the world? And then I realized where we was. A lot of people try to use their brake too much on this stuff. You know, you got to use it some to keep from going too fast, but you don't want to hit it too hard either. <laughs> when you get right down there, go to the right. Where? It's on the right side. Yeah, stay on the right. Right through there. Because it's on the left, it's a bunch of rolly rocks I went through, and man, it's all over the place. Can't ride the sissy trails all the time, gotta ride this stuff, get good. Guarantee you learn technique on this stuff. Especially with bald tires. I did? Yeah, see this? This wasn't here, you just knocked it down. I saw it fall. Really? Didn't even know it. I'm a bad dude. <clears throat> and don't even try. Oh, leave them old rocks right there, slick. Around that corner.
but somebody has just went through here on a four-wheeler or, or a side-by-side -side. holy cow that's a hole there's maybe stay left maybe better well maybe it could be deeper could be ready just go on through hold your feet up and come on through I'll hold my feet up already wet oh well then come on through keep going is that a is that a hole of water or what <laughs> oh, that's my freaking knees. <laughs> Look, I'm a two-stroke. Look. It looks like it. <laughs> What's the sound of a four-stroke? <laughs> it turned into a man. You can go left and go around this, but it ain't deep anyway. Slick, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That's slick too, right there. That's why you go right here, see this? Ah, uh, you big chicken. <laughs> I didn't notice it or I would have. There's a woman at work, she said, you can't take those dirt bikes where we take our side-by-sides. It's like, well, I guess you don't know what you're really talking about. This is an engine case buster right there. Yeah. If you ain't got a Flatland Racing skid plate. This is a deep creek right here. I went right up through there.
it don't matter if you got good knobbies when you're on them rocks like that. Yeah. That's that stuff slick even on knobbies. So is logs and stuff. It don't really help. The only thing it helps on is the mud and the wet grass stuff like that. But as far as slick rocks and logs, good knobbies don't matter on that. It being dry helps. Yeah, being dry helps. But the problem with being dry on this stuff is your tires get wet every time you go through a mud hole. So your tires are wet. I don't think these mud holes ever dry out. I've never been through here when they're dry. Probably not. It's probably like Chadwick. Yeah, I think they just wet year round. I've been through here a thousand times and I've never seen them dry. <laughs> How deep is it? How deep is it? Uh oh, it's not that bad. Well, this one might be six foot deep. It's not, <laughs> it's not shallow by no means. I wouldn't go too fast either, because you drowned out splashing the water. Just go a steady pace through it and keep going. <laughs> That's the one where we went through that time, me and you and Blake on that ride. Only we was going that way. Yeah. Oh, uh, this where this is? Yeah. Where he says he's a boat. Yeah. That's where the that's these mud holes right here. <laughs> there is a bunch, I don't know. That is we got some rain, so there's probably more. These trails are split off left or right and you think, okay, which one do I go on? You don't know which one's the worst until you get done into it. Yeah. And you think it's bad, the other one might be badder. It just looks like a deep one. Uh, just go around. I can't now. You can. <laughs> it ain't nothing. And then you think. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I fall into a hole. Well, I, I like the one, but he's, he's over on a full size bike, like a 250 or 450, and there'll be a mud hole as big around as the bike. They sink right down in it, the whole bike. Well, if it went around, I don't know where it goes. It must go yeah, way up. I don't think it goes around. It must go way up the hill somewhere and come back down.
Oh, did you go through it? No. Oh. Heck no. Not unless you go through the first. <laughs> You're not going to take that chance, huh? Well, plus my bike's shorter than yours, so it really swallowed up. That's the smart way. If somebody else makes it through, you know you can go through it. That's why I let you go. <laughs> It's a long ways through here, ain't it? I don't know. We've been a long ways, really. Ooh. This used to be really bad rocks to climb up. It's washed a lot of gravel in here, but it was really ledge rocky for four wheelers. It was tough. Right now it looks pretty simple. Trail. Yeah. Do you know where we're gonna come out, don't you? Yeah, that's the river. I don't know about going through them ledge rocks. We might want to go this way. Even right down through there wouldn't have been bad. Yeah, this ain't bad right here. Good line. There's actually a thing that goes right through there around them. Where? Oh yeah, but there's more over. Well, it might. It's not that hard right there. This is just hard to do because my stupid knees messed up. And it hurts. Right down. I already went this way. Okay, let's we'll come right through there. You're good. You're good. Your woodsman son, you gotta know how to go through the woods. Even on the more rough stuff. Try it. I never wanted to raise a sissy. I never did either. <laughs> it's not deep. It's just a the gravel's just gravelly. <laughs> it's just loose gravel. That looks deep. It's not deep through this way. But it's slick through that way. This is cool, too cool down here with all the moss all over everything, all over the trees and the rocks. And yeah, I know. It's really cool. It looks like one of other foreign countries with all that crap. Yeah, it looks like the on McDodge, you know, the whole rainforest. Yeah. That's what it looks like. The bad part, what's coming up, is that big creek crossing. Yeah. We got to figure out a way through there without a snorkel on, sticking up about six foot high. I don't know, but it was deep. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, it did rain. Remember, because the mud was all slick. Yeah, I just know it was really deep. Yeah. If somebody just went through here. I don't know if they went this way or if they went the other way. I haven't looked at the tire tracks to see which direction is going. See, there's one way right there yeah. that usually you can go through, or down here, or right here. That looks deep. <laughs> yeah. Let's go up here and park and scout it out. Oh, this is going to be it down here, I can already tell you. Oh, yeah, this is the other thing. 
Yeah. Yep. This is where we went through last time, but it was deeper last time. This ain't yeah, near this, as deep. This looks like half as deep. Yeah, it ain't nothing now. Oh, it'll wash. It'll wash your bike off. Hold on. I let out on the bike. Bike. Talk about mud. Except all the crap that there's cut instead of being trees and weeds. Yeah, they. It was brush right here when we went through last time. <laughs> That's the nice thing about a dual sport is we can just take off on the highway if we want to, but on a on dirt bikes you're just screwed, dude. I mean, yeah, I know. It's so stupid that they close all the stinking roads. For soil and wildlife protection. If that ain't a lie. That's retarded. What do you mean soil and wildlife protection? Yeah, we're going to hurt the dirt. Yeah, I know. It's retarded. And whenever you don't ride, it ain't but a no time, and it's all back to where you can't hardly tell where anybody rode before. There you go, left or right? Left.